hello traders welcome to alice blue this is Stephen Gogo. Uh, in this video i will discuss about crude oil now you can see this is a crude oil and daily chart if you see here and the crude oil are running in a downturn right so now you can see this is a 150 exponential moving average are running uh, uh 50 moving average are running below this exponential 150 exponential moving average right so that means trend is still running in a downturn right in a small time frame like uh, you can say like 5 minute or 15 minute you can confirm here that now price is running in a uptrend right have you seen this is a moving average cross about 7 moving average cross 20 moving average that means in a small time frame the trend is in a uptrend right and a large time frame you can see trend is downtrend right for the sell uh, because when price is running in a downtrend we always go for sell right but yesterday i told that you just uh, place your sell order just below this candle right uh, last two days we never seen any sell entry right because here we have uh, our sell was here somewhere like that and uh, somewhere buy was here somewhere like that in in this candle right uh, somewhere that was now you can see yesterday uh, according to me i never seen any uh, buy or sell entry because yesterday totally uh, i didn't uh, trade uh, like i didn't take any position yesterday right so if you want to see in a four hour time frame for the today now you can see what you have seen here right in a four hour time frame the all moving errors are closing right have you seen all moving errors are closing now you can see moving errors are like uh, running uh, arranging uh, sequently right from lower to higher now you can see in this area we have seen all moving averages are closing each other so when they are forming like that it is confirmed that trend is a sideways right and now you can see in what time frame uh, the time frame is in four hour right so let's check it here uh, now if you want to see here what type of pattern are forming in a four hour right so if you want to see here closely we have seen double bottom pattern or you can say like that w pattern right so let me show you so now you can see this was the previous higher point and price just fell down or pushed down toward the lower side and then now you can see again price push up right again push down here and now you can see today just running in his neckline so now you can see let me draw a neckline here right so you comes to know them let me connect first uh, for find out this support point have you seen i just i want to touch this i want to touch most touches area right for the support now you can see here was we have seen more touches area right price was trying to break this level but uh, they are not able to break this level and again you can see more tosses area and price was tossing in this area and trying to break this level right here somewhere like that so that is why i connected all point and draw a horizontal line now we can say like that this is a supporting line right this is a supporting line now we can see here we have seen most recent higher point where this is most recent higher point right is it it most uh, uh, uh recent higher point and if you want to see previously the tosses many time here to break this level so now we can confirm this this is a resistant line and then now they are forming a w pattern or some people are say like double bottom right first bottom and the second bottom and this is called neckline here around neckline is 3982 right so uh, that means when they are forming this type of pattern so it is confirmed that price will go up right from this area it is a high probability not 100 percent sure it is a high probability right so now you can see if price goes up then at what level price will go up let me count 
how to count this one right so you can see we have seen this a neckline right so let me connect the lower point here we have seen 150 point and you can see 130 or something like neckline 112 112 we need 112 point right here somewhere like that so let me draw another line right so now you can see i want to connect here right so now you can see if price break this neckline if price break this neckline so it is a high probability to reach this area of 4090 level so why this is a calculation so you can see this is point and let me show you let me change the color then it comes to know so we just calculating the distance between neckline uh, this is called neckline and the lower point this is a high probability to reach same portion of this area right so you can see it is a one 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 two point uh in this area right you can say like that and here will be one one uh, here will be one one two point one one two point so that means our target will be here somewhere right so after breaking this neckline got it so now we have seen our trading area and here and here so remember another thing so we have seen they are creating a double bottom so if they are not able to break this neckline if they are forming any cell confirmation below this uh, resistance line so it is a high probability to retrace again toward this lower point and after that they will create a triple bottom right they will create a triple bottom so that is why I always go for buy above this resistance line and a sell below this supporting level in a daily time frame remember always daily time frame trend is in downtrend right so that is why so let's check in a small time frame for 15 minutes 4 hour entry and exit point by seeing this 4 hour we can't enter in this market remember and for buy and sell we always looking for a uh, sorry uh, we always go uh, in a small time frame like uh, right we always trade in a small time frame so we have seen now the price was running in a downtrend uh in a small time frame like they're creating lower low lower high lower low lower high. so after that the price was running in a range right so we have seen this is a range right so that is why i'm telling if they break this level so like that uh, they're trading like that so let me show you so they're running like that after breaking this level so we have seen this a neckline right in a four hour they are forming what a uh, w button somewhere where uh, uh there are market are on there uh, somewhere like that right in a four hour, h4 right and a 15 minute which should look like that so once they break up this uh, resistance line so like uh, this resistance line so when price will retrace in a small time frame uh right remember four hour it will continue the price you will never see in any retracement right in a four hour in a large time frame and in a small time frame they will retrace this area so this is our buy entry and the target will be somewhere here but don't place your result just uh, below this area it is too high so always place when you will enter in this market always place you just a little more below or you can use ATR 1.5 ATR or 2 ATR right I think you people know how to use uh, I always say how to use ATR right and uh, this is our target and another thing you can see if price not able to break this level right so if you find any sell confirmation in this area so you just go for sell and your target will be here right so i i given two options are there one is they are forming like that already they form double bottom and another they will form like that right now is there here and again price will retrace toward previous lower point and they will create triple bottom right if prices retrace again toward this level so it will create a triple bottom right you just close your position in this area so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching